The volatility of gold and silver markets and the future role of paper currency and BRICS influence throughout history. Gold and silver have been regarded as symbols of wealth and prosperity due to their intrinsic value and rarity. However, the 21st century poses new challenges with a booming global population and increasing financial and economic interconnection. One of the main focal points of the global financial discourse is the wild fluctuation in the prices of gold and silver, particularly in the past decade. The aim of this video is to analyze the reasons behind these price swings and the factors that contribute to them. Additionally, this video will discuss the implications of these trends on the sustainability of paper currency and the long-term outlook for gold and silver markets. Finally, the impact of the BRICS nations consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa on the gold and silver markets will be examined. The influence of demand, supply, and speculation on the prices of silver and gold is one of the main reasons behind the fluctuation in gold and silver prices is the ever-changing balance between supply and demand. The demand for these precious metals arises from various sources, such as consumers of luxury items, investment portfolios, and central banks' monetary reserves. Conversely, the supply of these metals stems from mining activities, recycling of existing stocks, and government or private sector divestments. The balance of supply and demand is affected by various factors, including demographic shifts in global population, macroeconomic trends, and geopolitical tensions. For instance, the global population's rapid growth has resulted in increased competition for scarce resources, including gold and silver. Additionally, political instability due to trade wars or military conflicts can influence investors' risk appetite. This can lead to fluctuating demand for relatively safer investments such as these precious metals. Another related factor is speculation. It plays a significant role in driving price volatility. Investors and traders commonly use gold and silver as speculative instruments, betting on future price movements in the hope of profiting from short-term fluctuations. This speculative behavior can promote herd mentality and cause prices to depart from underlying supply and demand dynamics, exacerbating volatility. This is known as FOMO. The fear of missing out. Will paper currency have a role in the long term? The link between paper currency and precious metal prices are essential to understanding the long-term implications of gold and silver price volatility. Throughout history, several currency systems have been established that implicitly or explicitly use gold as a representation of their underlying value. However, in the modern financial system, most currencies are not explicitly backed by physical commodities. While some argue that this disconnect renders paper currency unsustainable in the long term, others contend that modern fiat currencies primarily rely on trust in the issuer, usually the government or central bank, to maintain their value. As gold and silver prices continue to fluctuate, a pertinent question must be asked. Will investors, governments, and central banks choose to shift their holdings from paper currencies to these precious metals? The answer to this question depends on myriad factors, including the status of the global economy, advances in technology, and potential discovery of alternatives to gold and silver. In conclusion, while the long-term implications of paper currency depend on many unknowns, it remains an essential component of the global financial ecosystem. Will the BRICS nations affect the gold and silver markets? The BRICS nations have been at the forefront of global economic growth and development in recent decades. With vast natural resources, rapidly growing populations, and burgeoning middle classes, these countries have become pivotal players in various sectors, especially the gold and silver markets. Two primary channels through which BRICS nations impact the precious metals markets are central bank policy and consumer demand. Individually and collectively, the central banks of BRICS countries have significant influence over international gold prices due to their share of global reserves. India, Russia, and China, in particular, are among the highest buyers of gold. These central banks' decisions to increase or decrease gold reserves can have significant implications on the prices of these metals. Furthermore, increasing consumer demand for gold and silver in the BRICS nations as a status symbol has been observed. Cultural preferences for gold and silver in India and China indicate that these countries will likely continue to drive demand for precious metals. However, the extent and sustainability of this consumption are uncertain and subject to various economic and geopolitical risks such as war, sanctions, and import taxes. So, in conclusion, silver and gold prices have experienced significant fluctuations due to various factors, including shifts in supply and demand, geopolitical tensions, and speculative activities. Despite the volatility in precious metal prices, paper currency will likely continue to play an essential role in the global financial ecosystem due to its flexibility, 
portability, and resilience. The BRICS nations are critical actors in the gold and silver markets, exerting influence through central bank policy and consumer demand. As the global economy evolves, multifaceted factors will continue to shape the future landscape of precious metal and paper currency markets. The balance between these elements will ultimately determine the long-term outlook for gold, silver, and the wider global financial system. And if you are wondering how CBDC will play a role in all of this, stay tuned because I will be making a video on that as soon as I get my data together. As always, thanks for watching.